Hello and welcome to another Bedroom Guru. How are you all? I've got a day in bed today. Boring. Only because I did the most, oh, I had the most fantastic time. I did an evening in mediumship, which is quite rare at the moment um, because of my energy. And it was just amazing. The audience were amazing. Nothing beats having spirit people queuing up and then using all your senses to get their messages across to their loved ones. It was such a great evening in painting. Oh, there's just a euphoric feeling that you're bringing such comfort and love to people. So I wanna say thank you to the people that came. And hello, because I told you about these videos, so anybody that was there is most probably gonna be watching this. Um, it was just a great evening, and I'm so pleased that hopefully I'll be able to do a lot more um, Sacred Stars at Paynton. Um, anyway, Moving on, I sorry if there's a bit of a delay in me doing my um, videos because I'm moving house and so a lot of my energy is being spent on packing which is the bane of my life at the moment um, so there will be a bit of a um, a bit of a wait between each video just for the next couple of weeks while I get settled in my new home which I'm so excited about um, but what I want to talk about today are babies that go to spirit. The reason being is I always look for a common theme. I am going to carry on um, with the psychic um, exercises, um, but this seems to be the one that I need to talk about today. And I always go um, by what my intuition tells me or what they upstairs tell me. As I say, I've had a number of um, emails and they're all very similar um, theme. And it concerns babies that have either been lost in miscarriage or termination. Um, the guilt, the pain um, and the grieving that is surrounded by babies that haven't actually touched the earth plane um, is quite profound. I have found that um, lots of mums who I've worked with in the last 27, 28 years um, tend to, because the baby hasn't actually been born, Lots of people, um, mums, tend to um, grieve, obviously, of the loss. And because the baby hasn't been born, because everybody else around them tends to just see it as a loss and not identify with that child, they seem to move on a lot quicker. And mums then tend to not want to go on about it or talk about it. And it turns out that it's one of the biggest blocks in your soul that's created by sheer grieving and you know I've spoken to mums who've lost babies 20 odd years ago and it's still breaking their heart wondering where they are and what happens to them so here's your answer as you know every time I speak about something it's not to make you feel better or what I think on a random subject you know just on my thoughts it's through experience it's through me being shown countless times from the spirit world a certain lesson and then I know that it's real, I know that it's true. So I need to take you back um, quite, a, quite a way, must be about 15 years ago. Um, I was doing an evening of mediumship in Shoebury in South End in Essex and um, I didn't really have a lot of experience of, you know, talking or communicating with spirit babies. Um, to be quite honest with you, because I'm not a mum, I suppose my energy wasn't really drawn to that sort of subject, but obviously my lesson was about to take place. A lady came up to me after the show um, and said, I want to show you um, my baby. And she showed me her baby and she was very, quite far gone in her pregnancy and she lost a baby. It was it, such trauma for her. Um, she said, look, you know, I'm sorry to show you a picture of my baby that's passed, but I want to ask what the hell this is. And so I thought, well, what's she talking about? And so she showed me the photograph and coming from the baby's solar plexus or literally like around the belly button area and around the area, there was this silver like misty cord coming out. And she said it was there for one minute and then when I took another photograph, it disappeared. So as a skeptic, I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's something to do with the camera lens um, or light refraction or something like that. Um, and so I said, well, I really, really don't know. I didn't have a clue. I really didn't. So I said, look, I'll, what I'll do is I'll have a look, you know, research it or, or um, well, not research it, but research it with them up there, have a meditation and find out if I can, you know, see what it is. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. I was so busy at that time doing evenings and magazine work and writing and all that kind of thing. It just completely slipped my mind. And I felt so awful about that. Um, and it just weeks went by and I didn't really do anything with it 
But oh, how I got told off and reminded that I had to learn this lesson about babies gone to the spirit world. Because literally a couple of months later, I was at another evening, I think it was in um, Kent, and unbelievably this lady came up to me again she'd had um you know a pregnancy that well, i think it was gone into the third trimester and again she'd lost a beautiful baby um and she said to me i'm sorry to show this photo and i'm not i'm not joking here. it was like groundhog day i couldn't believe it right because i just literally i'm tingling now because i tingled all over thought, oh my god this is a lesson and i've missed it and i've let down this mum from before because she said, what is that coming from my baby's tummy? And again, it was this silver cord. And I thought, oh my God. So I said, do you know what, darling? I said, and I explained about the mum, you know, a couple of months before. And I said, leave it with me. I absolutely, you have my word that I will go and speak to um, the spirit world. And I will, I will absolutely reply to you in the next couple of days. So the following day, I... Um, had a meditation went up and um connected with my like the realms of the my spirit guides and i sat down and said i need to know oh my goodness my head's tingling they're obviously listening because i'm mentioning them and i love it so much when i feel them around me um i basically said um i love you so much you've just guided me through everything everything and i can feel them there here now sorry i always get emotional when i feel them anyway so the long story made shorter so that you don't get too bored is um, the cord that comes from the baby is like the spiritual umbilical cord. That's the way they described it in layman's terms. It's a silver esoteric cord, they called it. And what it is, is when a baby um, is not going to make it on the earth plane or is born... Um, sleeping i call it still born i hate that word so i say born sleeping um basically their esoteric cord is still connected to the spirit world and if they don't make it you know like the past or it's or they they go through a termination um then they basically are pulled back to the source by this cord I just couldn't believe it because if they'd told me that in the first place i just would have thought yeah okay whatever because you know i am a skeptic and i need it to be proven and these two beautiful mums had bought you know me these photographs and it was obviously something i needed to learn and so i then said well, what happens next and they said it doesn't matter if they're one week old in the womb seven months old in the womb you know one day in an incubator and pass it doesn't matter they come straight back home they're still connected it there's you know the intention and the energy around that soul is basically they're not going to have an earthbound experience they've got to come back up and they do and when i and i said okay then and then they showed me my symbols for how it would work out so if a baby's due to come like someone's you know pregnant or going to be having a baby i see um a, a family member holding the baby and then i see either you know a ribbon or a hat on the baby to say what what um sex they are however when they are holding hands with a spirit um family member the child I know that they have passed and they've gone to spirit. Now, this is the other thing. They also taught me that, obviously, it doesn't help me to see a tiny little baby. That doesn't help me at all, try and evidence that to, obviously, a parent, you know, or a family member. And so they said to me, what, what we'll do is, is we will show you and tell the parents this, that we will show you an image of how that baby would have looked on the earth when they were about four or five years old. And that really helps because when you describe the features of that child, the spirit child, then, you you know, um, people say, oh my God, that's just like my dad or it's just like, you know, my husband or it's just like my other son or whatever. And generally, um, the spirit child will always mention a sibling name or their mum and dad's name or say what's been going on in the house because they've been down there. So even, um, you know, if they literally were just a couple of weeks old in your womb, they still have a soul. And they still connect up there. They are looked after by their family members. And sometimes, I know it sounds bad, but I argue that they're having a better existence up there, not having to go through trials of the human experience. And if you've um, looked at my video about soul clusters, 
these are the children that have gone, Mum, really? I don't want to come down again as your mum. I don't like her very much. Can I just go up soon? Oh, go on then. You can go straight up and we'll do the Earth experience. Remember I said that? And so that leads me to terminations. The guilt surrounding that to some people I've been speaking to this lady and helping her recently um, and the guilt around it is just so immense that it can hold its energy in a soul for the whole human experience and that's got to stop at the end of the day we don't take it lightly that we're going to be going through that situation um, and generally there are valid reasons you know the baby would have unhappy wouldn't be sustainable to have the baby whatever reason you've got to let go of that guilt because at the end of the day, it was agreed before you even come down and that you'd both go, th go through that experience, you of making a decision about that child going back to heaven and then wanting to go back to heaven anyway. And I know that's hard as a human person with your human um, emotions, understanding that you've effectively, you know, terminated the potential life of that person. But however, all I can tell you is, you know, I can't judge you on a human level, but what I do know is that every single child that I've ever had come through who's who's gone through the experience of termination have said, Mummy, stop doing that to yourself. I wanted to come up here. We agreed this before we came down. So that's, you know, something that you need to take on board if you've gone through an experience of having a child, you know, terminated. Um, I shouldn't say child, really, because that makes sounds even worse. But, you know, at the end of the day, you made a decision. It's done. And a lot of people obviously then go back to, should I have done it? You've done it, darlings. So you have to allow yourself to grieve and move on and know that it was planned anyway. And that child is going to be there when you turn up. So you will be reunited with your children. And I see it all the time with people that go up to the spirit world. They basically say, guess who I've got? I'm with, I'm with our son, you know, I'm with our, our twins, whatever it is. And these children will always give enough evidence for you to know you know it's like for instance I had one in the show and they told me what month that they they went up you know and about their family and what's going on they're just brilliant little communicators because they're such pure souls I love them they tend to also love helping children some of them go off and help children but the most important thing to know is is that your child that you've lost um, through pregnancy or literally straight after birth they are guardian angels over your siblings, over their siblings, sorry. Um, so you will definitely have the energy of your child come in. If you are feeling down or you're going through any trials on the earth plane or even you're celebrating things, you will have your child around you. And as mums and dads, you may, you may dream of a random child and not know who they are. And that will be your four or five year old image of the baby that went up to the spirit world. And they will tend to look like, you know, a family member so that you recognize them. Um, so if you start dreaming of things like that, then that will be your child reconnecting with you from the spirit world. Um, also, you may see them. You know, some people have reported seeing a child in the house thinking that some Victorian child in their house from the 1800s or whatever. And it's not. It's going to be your child. I have um, touched on this a bit with apporting when I said about the nappy in another video being apported by the spirit child. Um, they will absolutely love the energy of their brothers and sisters so you will get footsteps you will get monitor interference you know if you've got another young baby you will get your young children or babies looking into space and laughing you will get orbs surrounding your child and if they're on the same level as the child that normally will be their spirit brother and sister you will get toys start up on their own you will get things being moved from one place to the other asporting and you will get things bought to you, buttons, pennies, anything to do with babies, apporting that is. They're quite minxy. They love to nick your personal stuff. So you'll find your earrings in the fridge and things like that. They're a beautiful, bright energy. I remember doing an evening, an intimate evening, um, over in, I think it was in Essex, somewhere near, I think Southwood and Ferris. And I was saying, um, the lady, I'm not going to say her name because obviously, you know, privacy, but I said to her, your son is here and he's running around and then there was nobody upstairs and there was like, you know, massive group of ladies um, in the room and we heard footsteps running above us and there was nobody upstairs and you could see some people going, oh my God, and some people were really excited. Then we heard the footsteps come down the stairs and then there was a massive whoosh of energy um, to the, to everybody that felt it was like a freezing cold air just went through, you know, this little gathering. 
and some of them literally were like oh my god this is a great but others were like wow and the mum just was like oh my god my baby boy's here you know so what the whole reason for this video is is not to try and make you feel better well it is of course what i'm trying to say is i have valid experience oh hundreds thousands of experiences of spirit babies that are totally happy they are living a completely sublime life up in the spirit world. They can come in visitation whenever they wish and um, they are happy and well. So you haven't lost your baby. They have a soul um, and they will meet you when you go up there. So even if you've had multiple amounts of miscarriages, I once did a reading for a lady and there were seven children. That poor, brave, beautiful woman had gone through seven losses and all the children were up there and I was counting them. So there's bloody seven. She goes, yeah, I've lost seven. I said, oh my God, your babies are there, darling. And they'll be there when you get there. And at the moment, your mum's looking after them. And then the mum was like going, yeah, great. I've got the bloody pets and the kids. So, you know, it's just, it's a wonderful comforting notion to know that they are there, you know. And all I can say to you on advice on how to grieve is... It's the same as what the post I've just put on my Facebook about my mum. Is that I try not to allow myself to get too upset about, you know, the human loss. And I project myself to, I wonder what she's doing now, like you would if someone was on holiday. And it's like that for the children, you know. Just think, not about how it happened, why it happened, you know, whether it was, you know, you that initiated it or there was a miscarriage. Just think, my baby boy or girl's up there. And you'll generally get a feeling as a mum of whether it's a boy or girl. And some people either name them, you know, so that I can say, oh, you know, um, I don't know, what can I say, Anthea's up there. And they go, oh my God, that's what we called her. You know, some people do that. Um, and so give them a name. Um, I also... Um, recommended to this lady I've been talking to about actually getting a physical thing to represent the soul of the child um, and she's got an angel figurine that represents her child that's up in the spirit world and she said that gives me immense sense of um, comfort and connection that I use that as you know uh, a physical connection to my baby so it does work so you know you can either get something like a teddy bear or an angel figurine or figure of an angel do you know do you know the one i love there's do you know the baby that's i don't know if you've ever seen it but it's like the baby that's enclosed in angel wings i love that i've got one it's just packed now um but i've got i've got that one and do you know what that kind of thing to me would be a perfect way of the physical representation you know because obviously if you lose them very early on then you know there isn't a memorial there isn't any kind of service you know it seems like a very surgical thing and that's a shame because we need to honor the fact that we were prepared to you know have this baby come into the world um or even as i say even if you initiated the process get something physical that represents their energy you don't have to tell anybody if you don't want to um or healthily grieve it you know if it's if you were planning it and you told your children that the baby's coming and then the baby suddenly doesn't then say oh well this is this is little whoever you know or the little nickname you've got for the baby and that's that's their little statue just so we can remember them you know just do it healthily like you would any other person that's passed over um and please please if you are struggling to cope with the fact whether it's initiated or you've had a miscarriage please 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 reach out and if you need to um speak with someone um, concerning counselling please do because another thing that I've encountered over the years with mums is they think oh well it was only like you know 12 weeks old it was only eight weeks old what's the point you know no that's wrong it is still a loss you still had hopes and dreams fears and any other excitements that you'll get as a potential mum and so you have to acknowledge that you need to talk that out like anybody else that's passed Right, it's very important you do that, whether it's through um, talking with your friends, whether it's um, talking with a, a trained counsellor, bereavement counsellor, or you know, seeking out a forum on Facebook with people that had similar experiences. Reach out and do that because so many people just keep quiet and hold that grief all their lives, and, and, and it's damaging for you. You need to release and let go all of your thoughts and feelings surrounding your loss. Um, but I know 100 million percent that your babies are up there waiting for you. And as I say, um, if you see or start dreaming of a child that you think, who the hell's that? 
that will be your baby, your child coming and going, hello mummy, talk to them as well. You know, as I said, I've just put a Facebook post on about talking to my mum, I've had a chat with her today. It doesn't matter if you don't hear them talking back, you know they are hearing you, you know that. And so that's what you do with your baby, you know? And for the, for the mums that have had multiple losses, I can't even begin to imagine how painful that is for you. You know, for the mums going through IVF and things like that, Rose Quartz is an excellent fertility stone um, for pregnancy and for, um, you know, fertility. I think I just said that. A bit of brain fog. Um, also, what other ones, please, Dines? What other crystals, please? Oh, Carnelian, apparently. I'm not an expert on crystals. I just, they tell me and then I end up researching it. It's right, that's right. But yeah, they've just shown me carnelian. So, you know, there are crystals and amber, apparently. Thank you, whoever that was. Um, they're, they're crystals that either will, you know, help fertility, help a healthy pregnancy. Um, and again, you know, so many people beat themselves up. It's my fault. I shouldn't have carried on playing tennis. I shouldn't have had that glass of wine. You know, it's all well and good you saying that, but it is a natural part of grieving the guilt. Um, so honour it, but then don't allow it to hang around as your unwanted friend. Get rid of that feeling when it's healthy to do so. You know, if you're still three, four months in and you're feeling that raging guilt of what's happened, whether it's a loss or you've initiated it, then you really need to reach out and find someone to help you lose that emotion because it's not good for anybody darlings so you really need to reach out and get that help um if there's anything you want to ask me you know always please I, I can't believe the impact these videos are having on people i just i get so many emails and messages from people and you know they're right as usual they told me to do this and christ it's just amazing how little old me sitting in my bed in my pjs can help so many people it brings me such joy um, so please, you know, as I always say, share these videos to people you think it might help um, and subscribe to them so you get them automatically sent to you. Um, and please send me an email, which is, um, I think all the details are on there, nikki.allen at btinternet.com or drop us a line on Twitter, Facebook, I'm on all those sort of things. Um, and anything you want to ask questions about, you know, anything at all. But, you know, specifically if there's any guidance you need for babies. But I think I've kind of covered it all. You have not lost your babies. And what was the most magnificent thing was, is that I then, um, where was that show? I think it was Norfolk. I'm sure it was Norfolk, right? And because what happened was, going back to the two ladies, um, you know, that showed me the photographs... I phoned that one the following day because I did the meditation. I phoned her straight away. And then I found the other lady, I think it was on Facebook, and I sent her a message with a massive apology and explained to her what the esoteric call was. And then, bugger me, I was in Norfolk and this lady came up. She goes, well, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to show you a picture of my baby that passed. And I said to her, you're going to show me a silver call. She went, oh, my God, how do you know that? And she opened it, and my God, yet again... The silver cord was there and I just said that is the spiritual umbilical cord darling that's taking your baby home to your family and that baby is going to have the most precious life up there and when you're ready you'll be up there and you'll be reunited how wonderful is that and on top of that that baby's going to be your other children's guardian angel and it was just so perfect to to know without any doubt whatsoever that I knew exactly what I was talking about and I was completely right. And it was such a joy to tell her that when she had just wondered what the hell was coming out of her baby's tummy. So I think the third um, photo was to verify, yes, that's right, and, and I've never seen one since. So it was there just to give me that lesson that I have to educate mums, dads and family members about babies um, that are lost from our world but are totally embraced in another. So I really hope that helps you. Just another thing that someone's just brought in up there 
is obviously we think of babies and people that have passed physically and we say, oh, do they grow? You know, do they grow up in the spirit world? To be honest with you, um, as babies like that, I generally see them create their image, because remember, they haven't got a physical body, create their image around four or five years old. However, sometimes, like I remember once, I kept, I, I couldn't work it out because I'm saying to this woman, um, there's a, you know, you've got a daughter in spirit. She was 21. She's like, no. And I said, she's saying it's her 21st birthday. No. And I thought, oh my God, I've got this so wrong. But I knew it was so right. And I'm thinking, how could she not know that she's got like a 21 year old daughter in the spirit world? And then eventually I went, oh my God. I said, darling, you lost a baby 21 years ago, didn't you? And she went, and she counted, she went, oh my God, yes. And it was basically her daughter. You know, they don't grow up because souls are eternal. You know, they just create images so it's easier for us to identify them. And it turned out that she was showing what she would have looked like at 21. And that was, that was in, I remember that was in Kent as well. And I was, it was just amazing, absolutely amazing that she had, you know, engineered how a human image would have looked at, as a 21-year-old woman. And it was just, ah, oh, it was a beautiful moment that was. Never forget that. So um, your babies are safe, your babies are well, look after yourself, be kind to yourself, definitely be kind to yourself, monitor your grieving, as you know that um, if you're subscribed or you're looking at my other videos, I've got um, how to cope with grieving and how to you know, honour how you're doing with your grieving in my other videos, so if you are struggling please look at those videos because they'll help you to understand how to go through that natural process which is horror. But if you do it um, with a mind focus that you need to move through and understand and embrace the fact you've got to grieve, then it will certainly go a lot quicker. Um, so I hope this helps all of those beautiful, brave mums that have been very unfortunate to suffer that most awful loss. And I hope it helps all of you. So until next time, as I say, I don't know when it'll be because I've got to go and start packing now. Well, I won't. It'll be like two, two articles and I'll be like, oh, I'm in bed again. But um, thank you for listening. Thank you for continually um, sending me support and obviously messages you want to help with. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.